Hey Libra, welcome to Soul Vibin'. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. Libra, I'm going to go ahead and do your reading for this next week. We're going to take a look at your week to see what's happening around you. So Libra, I do get a sense that there's going to be things balanced out for you. Everything's going to work out just fine. If there's something you're worried about with someone uh, close to you, a friend, family member, or someone around you, just know that things are going to work out. Um, um, but you do need, it says you and your loved ones are safe and it says balance spirituality and practicality. For some of you, maybe it's just time to kind of um, tune into yourself, your emotions, your feelings, meditate, um, practice self-care, practice a lot of self-care, a lot of gentle energy. I'm picking up on a lot of gentle energy. You need to be really gentle with yourself and with those around you. The more you practice compassion, the better. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of emotions involved in the situation that you're dealing with. But I do feel like for some of you, you have a Cancer or a Pisces around you. And that you will be communicating with or something about communication with someone around you is going to be very important this week. So let's go ahead and see what else is coming your way. Libra. Wow, that was a whole lot of cards right there. I'll take this one. You get music, okay? Surrounding yourself with calming music even because I just got a sense of calm, serenity around me. So there's going to be a sense of um, you having to listen to calming music and then a, or a change up. Change up what you do when you're by yourself. Change up your routine. Change up um, what you usually listen to. Um, you may want to just spend time by yourself because um, you may be going through your emotions, Pisces season, I feel like it could be all Pisces season, uh, where you're just kind of like remember, maybe remembering something, or just um, wanting to just be alone for a while, because of everything going on, you may just want to spend some time by yourself. For Libra. Or you may be spending time with someone by yourself, just like cuddling, closing up, um, being intimate with someone, not more so like super passionately, but it's more like just being intimate with them, like, like a sense of like, um, really passionate, but also very loving, I don't know, it's just weird, different, very different, so you gotta connect with crystals, look for fairies, and connect with fire, for some of you you're dealing with the fire sign, but connect with fire is about passion, Okay, connect with crystals. Okay, maybe you need to meditate with some sort of crystals um, uh, for your solar plexus chakra. And then look for fairies. This is all about like believing that impossible is what I see it as. For some of you, maybe you actually see fairies or you tap into the fairy realm. Maybe the fairies have a, um, a special message for you. Spend time with friends. For some of you, this is... I guess, like, what I'm trying to get is, like, you may be spending time with someone um, special, okay? You may be spending time with someone special this week. So I'm going to leave these, these here. All right. So let's go ahead and pull out a romance angel for you. What's happening when it comes to Libra and their person person of interest or love interest, romantic interest, or anyone? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So yeah, this is about like you wanting to be intimate with someone. Right? You may be intimate with someone, but I feel like you guys aren't going there yet. It's like, I don't know, it feels really playful or like you guys are like, like, you guys share your, you guys have emotions for each other, but you guys are taking things calm or slow. Um, something like that. Maybe you guys are just going to hang out, listen to music. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that may, be, that may just be a special message for some of you, okay? Yeah. Maybe we're dealing with an Aries, or you you are dealing with an Aries, or maybe a divine masculine. But I do feel like what's happening for you is happening for your growth, okay? There's a lot of growth happening, like a lot of um, expansive energy, which is really nice to see. Like there's a lot of expansive energy, especially when it comes to love and healing. So I feel like you're healing your heart chakra. 
um, music to heal your heart chakra is going to be very beneficial for you this week. If you've never listened to it, definitely you should tap into that because there's um, hidden potential and power uh, within you um, that you can unlock through accessing this music or listening to this music, excuse me. So let's go ahead and pull out some tarot cards. I have some tarot cards for Libra. Okay. So here we got the Two of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So there's an important decision that's going to be coming up for you this week um, regarding a job or career or a goal that you have. Um, I definitely feel like whatever you decide to invest into will be beneficial for you. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. It's like it's going to be very successful for you. There's going to be a lot of success that's going to come out of this. I don't know what you're investing in or what you want to invest in. This could be the relationship, right? Because there's a lot of growth and expansion, a lot of um, generosity coming your way, or maybe you just being generous to people. I more so think that this is like a windfall towards you, though. Like a lot of good luck headed your way and like things working in your favor, um, even better than expected because you chose to um, kind of like take the blindfold off and really think about what you've been investing in and maybe really think about what you've been growing, maybe really think about what you've been through. I don't know what this is. But more so like what you've been focused on is definitely what's it, it's definitely gonna grow take a sudden uh growth for you this can be in love because there's a lot of growth happening and, and i see the growth here here mm -hmm. and then the chariot wow a lot of success coming to you this week i don't know if you're going to be recognized in some type of way but there's going to be like something that's going to make you stand out from the crowd whether it's at your job your career school um, some type of recognition coming your way, okay? Or maybe you're just um, coming into commun communication with someone or you're just leaving things up to the universe. Um, I do feel like you're deciding to be brave to like make the best decision for yourself regardless on whether it's good or bad. I just feel like you're investing into something that you don't really know um, whether it's going to be good or bad for you. So you're just kind of deciding to go with it though. Like you're being brave, you're putting your best foot forward. Um, you're you're leading with confidence for sure. You're coming through very, very confident. And I do feel like you're willing to take the risk. Because the chariot has learned a lot of lessons. He's like the fool, but like on another level. So I don't really feel like you're being foolish in the situation. I more so feel like you have thought things through, but it's more so like you're just kind of hoping for the best and you're leaving things up to the universe and you're also kind of like deciding to let destiny um, or karma take its play in the situation. But with the will of fortune, I do feel like things are going to um, work out in your favor and you're going to be safe in whatever it, is, whatever it is that you decide to invest in or um, put your energy into this week. Ten of Swords, Back of the Deck energy, I do feel like you're learning to set yourself free um, you're learning to close off old chapters. Um, you're learning to let go of old baggage as well. For others of you, maybe you're blocked. Someone's blocking you, or some some something's happening. Um, yeah, yeah. Someone someone may be blocking you on social media or something like that. I don't even feel like it's gonna affect you. I feel like it's more so you're just gonna like you're gonna be like you know what it is what it is. Like you're not even gonna worry about it. Yeah, the moon card. Um, so this person is doing this out of fear. Okay. Immaturity, fear, and there's someone spying on you in the dark. Like, I'm not getting in the dark. Like, I mean, yeah, there may be, like, take a look at your surroundings, of course, is what I'm getting. But the moon card and the page of swords is like people are spying on you, your relationship, or people are spying on, on yeah like your relationship but you're protected see how this no card is right here it's like it's like um definitely spirit is protecting you and your relationship with someone around you this can be like a friends with benefits for some of you um oh okay so i'm gonna go ahead and for some of you, you're going to have to turn someone down, okay? Maybe it's not you being blocked. It's you turning someone down this week. 
having to work with your shadow attributes okay there's nothing wrong with that you're working with your shadow attributes um maybe you're just learning how to do this with the page of swords next to it um you're learning how to kind of like take karma take its toll right because this is to me the will of fortune under the two of swords to me like the decision it, you're making i feel like you've never really worked with your shadow like this before like you may have been someone who's really kind really nice just does things and uh out of love yeah but you're being asked to you're being asked to kind of like use both sides of the situation sometimes you need to work from your shadow um to get to where you need to be and um, it's all for love anyway so it's not really good or bad it's just more so for love and for the highest good of everybody involved so whatever is happening um this week i feel like it's turning in your favor though okay so I do feel like you're very, very protected. You're just learning to follow your intuition um, and you're letting things unfold and progress in a natural state, which is beautiful. Um, I really love this reading for you, but that is all I have today. I'm going to go ahead and pull out one more card from my Mermaid Oracle for you, Libra. Your Libra, please. So here you get self-care. Drowning doesn't always require water, all right? So definitely self-care is on the forefront, okay? Take care of yourself this week. Um, practice um, meditation even, yeah. Practice meditation and um, if you can. And practice empathy as well, okay? I feel like um, something you're going through is going to be very deep or you're going to just see things very much deeply or feel things very deeply. Um you're going to be very empathic this week, okay? So just make sure you take time out to meditate. This card was just like flipped over. Yeah, direction. See, that's the direction you need to go in. It's like you need to take some time out to meditate. But that's all I have. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in your next time on your other readings. Bye for now.